Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. We ask God that your words from my mouth and the meditation of my heart, Father, be acceptable in thy sight, Master. Father, we ask you to keep us. Father, we ask your Holy Spirit to rain down on us this morning, Master. Not only me, but each one in the house. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Yes. Amen. Know we, we, I keep asking you all, and you know we've been blessed this week, right? Yes. Let me tell you how I know you're blessed. This week. You've been blessed this week. Uh, you notice if you look around, you're sitting in the house, you're sitting on a seat, you're in air conditioning, padded seats. Amen. Now back in the day we didn't have padded seats. Amen. You know, and then we we used to really have really have church back in the day. We, we didn't have padded seats. We come and we stay yes. all day. Yes. Now we got padded seats. You can't get the catch You can't get the door open fast enough. <laughs> but you're blessed. You know you're blessed. You look. You got up this morning. The electric bill. The electric was still on. Yes. Yes. The water was still running. Yes. Yes. And if you happen to go to the refrigerator, there was something in the refrigerator, side of water. You're blessed. And, you know, and sometimes we don't need to set quiet on God all the time. Sometimes we just need to give Him glory. You know, give Him glory to know that we thank you, God. We, we thank you for being such a great God. We thank you for being such a kind God. A God that can do all those things. Amen. We, we talked about last week about the lady she pushed her way through to you get, get to Jesus. You know, you know, and that's why, you know, we we, we want to sit in the back. We don't want to push. We don't, we don't want to go through the hard times and tribulation. We just want everything to happen. Amen. Let me get on the subject here. I, I really, if, if you would, Isaiah, I think that's why I want to start it. Isaiah. Chapter 40. Chapter 40. Chapter 40. Isaiah. Chapter 40. Beginning at verse 28. Isaiah. Chapter 40. Beginning at verse 28. 40. Isaiah. Chapter 40. We're in no big hurry. I've got time. Look at the clock. i got three. You know, I've got plenty of time to go on, right? Mm -hmm. I'm starting with plenty of time. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, beginning at verse 28. And this, and in the last part, we should kind of. <coughs> Amen. Amen. You, you ready? Yes. Amen. 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 It said, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, a man is not, neither is it weary. There is no certainty on his understanding. He built a tower to the man, and to them that have no might, he increased his strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. Can we, can we use eagle wings? Eagle wings? Eagle wings. Being, being a hawk. Mm. And we like to take down the enemy. I'm just going to use eagle wings this morning. Yeah. Eagle wings. You, you know we're talking about activating the power, right? Yes, sir. And the only way for us to activate our power is through God. Amen. Yeah. And, and it's strange the way God activates our power. Uh -huh. We've been looking in Psalms, Psalms we've been studying Psalms, and I, and I, I told them last, last, last Wednesday night, the devil is not going to allow you to study the word and not test you. All right. Because what happened is, when we look in Psalm, we see David is, is going through trials and tribulation mm -hmm. over and over again. Right. He spent time running from his enemies, mm -hmm. and every time he looked around, there was some more enemies in front of him. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. But, but David fought with the power of God because David depended on God. Amen. And when we activate our power, we have to depend on God. Yes. We, we can't do it the way the world does it. We have to depend on God. Yes. See, and what happened is, it, it takes some stand still. Uh -huh. You can kind of stand still and some weight on God. Yes. You know, stand still no, no, that does not mean doing nothing. Right. You know, stand, standing still with God means that I'm doing what God leads me to do, Amen. but I'm not getting out of his will. All right. Yeah. So, so and, we, and we see this morning, as, as we look at Isaiah, uh, and I have, you know, I, I, I took the, the passage before I looked at the Sunday school lesson because 61, I think, is the Sunday school lesson. But, but what it says now, it says now, do you not know? Yes. Have you not heard mm -hmm. that the Lord everlasting God, creator of the end of the earth? Now, now, listen to this. Now, now so we, we know the beginning, right? In the beginning was the word, right. and the word became flesh. Mm -hmm. God created the heaven and earth. Yes. But what it said now, the end. See now, and we're looking at. Yes, I better stick this in. We look at it. Yes, go like this. We look at the presidential election. I don't want to call no names. I know I get people behind me and on the side of me, and we'll get we'll get into stuff. So I ain't gonna try to point no names out. But we do know the presidential election. But you see, it says now from the end. So really, when we get our focus on God, although all this I O, good word for me. Y'all y'all figure that 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 means crap in case you. We know, all but nevertheless. But all this stuff going on, if we look at it, we'll, we'll get nervous because we don't want to wait on God. All right. we, we want to fight our battles ourselves, and, and when we fight our battles ourselves, we don't know what's going to happen. We shoot our arrows, mm -hmm. we don't know where they're going. Uh -huh. But God said, and we, we're going to get back and say, God said now, and, and if you look at Psalm 64, we talked about, it said now, they shoot their arrows. They, they, they're, they, they're taking their, 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 they're getting in their secret place. They're trying to get you back, but it says God will fight your battle. Yeah. Now let me tell you, it says that God never misses. Now, let me say that again. Y'all hear it. God never misses. Yeah. Look back at the text now. You hear, and God only does once. He doesn't, he doesn't he does think twice. So what we have to do is, we have to learn how to wait. Let me see. Let me get in the text. So Y'all looking at what it says. The earth. And we'll, and then it says now, and we'll not grow tired, you know, say now, we're not the ends of the earth, but because it, now, he will not grow tired or weary. Now, we know some physically we get tired, but mentally, if we stick with God, he, he's going to renew our strength. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it says now, understand not, no one can fathom. Phantom, what phantom mean? Like What's that? Like imagine, so your phantom like imagine something. Imagine something, okay. Okay, and they gave imagine something, got books and imagine something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> phantom. So in other words, you can imagine, you know, how good God is. It says now, phantom, right? It says maybe another you know, phantom. You know, we used to have a line that uh, was on a blueprint, phantom line, and that it, it gave you a line, and it told, it shows you how how fast it moved. How it's supposed to pull, it, it was anticipate move. But it said now we can, and I'm reading out of NIV. Y'all excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Y'all probably some of you all do that. That no one can phantom, you know, his strength. He gives strength to the weary and increases power. That's that power, right? Mm -hmm. Who does that? God. 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 Thank you. God. We talked about him. He said again. He said, now, he gives strength to the weary. What's weary? I'm tired. Tired. Okay, tired. That, that when you get tired, let me see, let's see now, talk about that. When you get tired of people's mess with you, when you get tired of heartache and pain, it, it doesn't say weary, right? Weary. When you get tired of being misused and abused, wait, wait, what did he say he's going to do? He gives strength to the weary and increase their power for the weak. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we wait on God, 
I have to go to scripture. Let me get on here. God be done. Want to sleep on me. I'm going to get through it before y'all go to sleep. And, and then it says now. And then they stumble and fall. But those who hope is in the Lord will renew their spirit. But now, how am I going to renew my strength? In the Lord. See now, and it takes some boldness to be able to go. What happened is, it said, my ways are not God's way. Mm -hmm. So I have to renew my strength in the Lord because what I'm going to do, what I have to do, I have to continue to take my problem to God. Uh -huh. Because when I, when I take it to God, he's going to, it does say that right, mm -hmm. renew right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's going to strengthen me when I'm weary. Yes. We talked about it a while back. He said, now, come unto me. All you laden and heavy laden, yes. take my yoke up on you and learn of me. Yes. Yeah, you know what? I'm a, I got to learn what God will do. Amen. And when I learn what He'll do, I know I can take the yoke up because I'm learning. Amen. And He said, Now, why well, I got to, I got to wait on Him. Uh -huh. Wait on Him. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's never, he's, he's an on-time God. Amen. See, my, what, what happened, my time is messed up. See, my time, I don't, I don't, get, I don't do good time. Uh -huh. But God is an on-time God. You know why? Say that, say that. Let me tell you why. You know why? Uh -huh. Let me tell you why. Because he owns time. Yeah, right. If you own time, you can do what you want to do right. if you own it, right? right? He owns the time. So he can do what he want to do with time. Right. So he's never late. He's always on time. Yeah. And what I got to do, I have to learn how to wait on him. Yeah. Because when he get there, uh -huh. he's going to be on time. Yeah. All right. He's going to be on time. Uh -huh. He said, now, well, what I got to do, yeah, he said, now, and get on in there, he said, now, and, and what all that, once he, once he, once he, once he just strengthened me, he said, well, now, they will soar on the wing like an eagle. Uh -huh. Let me see now. Anybody, anybody know what a hummingbird do? Anybody ever saw a hummingbird fly? Yeah, yeah. You know what a hummingbird, how a hummingbird fly? Yeah. He flap his wings. Yeah. Yeah. They're fast. Yeah. Say so he might flap his wings six to eighty times in a, in a second, but he's flapping. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Can you kind of put your mind there? Can you imagine trying to flap your wings at all that time? <laughs> You'll get tired, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flap. But now, and then they say the other bird, that they're gliding birds. Mm -hmm. they, they do pretty good. The glider, you know, you you, you know that they get up in the air, they get they get, they glide, uh -huh. but after a while you glide. If you don't do some more flat, no wing, you gonna do what? You gonna glide uh -huh. on the ground. Uh -huh. But it says now, but soaring. Now the, the good thing about it was that soaring. Now the eagle, they said the eagle gonna soar. Yeah. And then the good thing about the eagle when, when it's flying because you know if you see an the eagle, they're not a flat. Most times you see an eagle that wings are stretched out. Yeah, and what happened when they saw? And what they, 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 the, the wind will catch the wind, uh -huh. and and the, and all they do is soar. Uh -huh. Yeah, it said eagles been clocked about eighty miles an hour. Yes, 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 soar. Uh -huh. And what happened? When we learn how to wait on God, we can soar. Uh -huh. Because what happened is we realize where our power is coming from. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, we missing, but I'm gonna get that grill fixed, maybe. <laughs> but uh, let me see what I have to do. If they if, if, if the airplane go by the airplane now, <coughs> if they get up there and they ain't got no fuel, uh -huh. if you own that airplane, you got them. Yeah, you, you got them. And what happened is, well, when we're going through things and we don't know what I get our fuel from, mm -hmm. we got problems. Yes, because what Satan will, Satan will keep punching, punching. But what we have to realize, God is our source. God is our power. And when we learn how to use his power, or oh, people look at the strength. <laughs> if they look at the strength, so why, why are you at that? <laughs> don't you know better? Don't, don't, you, don't, don't you know people when, when, they, when they miss you, and they, don't you know that how you're supposed to act? Would y'all tell them, yeah, but I, I, but I, but I got a God. Amen. I got a God mm -hmm. that sits high, yeah. yes. looks low. Yeah. The word says He never slumbers, right. nor sleep. Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to go on to sleep. You need to get, still. You got you tell what you do. Take your little problem to God. Yes. You need to go on to sleep. 
Yes. Because what happened is you learn to wait. Because if you, if you got a good God and going to take care of you, yes. you, you didn't tell your problem to tell your problem how big it is. You tell your problem how big your God is. Amen. And your God, you can tell them when you tell them how big your God is, you can tell them, you're not my problem. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember that, that, that the battle Israel had? He told King, the Jehoshaphat, back. This ain't your battle. This is the God's battle. Amen. Listen, church. This is not our battle. Mm -hmm. It's God's battle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know what? Let me tell you how you know it. You know why? Because we are God's children. Yeah. And, and there's no father. Let me back on it. God is not a dead big dad. Amen. Amen. You take that one in right quick. Then I go on to what I'm saying. God, there's no father that don't take care of his children. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, and what happened? God is our father. Mm -hmm. And what he's trying to get us to see is if you depend on me and wait on me, I'll fix it mm -hmm. in due time. All right. In due time. Mm -hmm. And he said, now, because what, what, I'm on a soar like eagle because I'm depending on what? Let me see, I'll pick a few more things out here, and then I've got some more scriptures we're going to get together. But he said, now, like, you know, soar like an eagle. They will run mm -hmm. and not grow weary. Mm -hmm. They will walk and not faint. Mm -hmm. In other words, I'm going to run because I'm running from God. Yeah. All right. I'm going to walk mm -hmm. because I'm walking for God. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and, and because I walk for God, I'm not going to faint mm -hmm. when times get hard. Yes, yeah. let, let me see here. Get a, get a few scriptures here, and then I'll, I'll leave you alone. Uh, Psalms, because David knew how to wait. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm learning. David knew how to wait. Psalms 25 and 3. Psalm 25 and 3. And see now, and I keep telling you, if, if, if you could only, if you only ate one day a week, you'd be malnourished. Y'all hear that? <laughs> if you only ate one day a week, I guess a couple things now. If you have a good grocery bill, <laughs> but you be starving. Yes, you will. Yeah. Amen. Listen, if you only look at the Word of God, this 30, 40 minutes on Sunday, oh, you, you're not going to be with on God. Amen. All right. Because it takes some renewing. It takes them over and over again. If you look at the word of God, 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 God the word is always repeating itself. I used to, I got kept before a while, but look, the word is always repeating itself and telling you, and, and, and you know what it tells us? It, it keeps on telling us how good God is. Uh -huh. it, 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 look at it. It keeps on telling us how good God is. Uh -huh. It keeps on telling us how we can depend on God. Uh -huh. Look at it. it, it, it look at it said now. Now go back. It said now, Psalm 25, it said, Wait on the Lord. Uh -huh. Be strong, take heart, and wait on the Lord. Uh -huh. that, that's Psalms 25 and 3. Then, then Psalms 37 and 34. It says, hope in the Lord and keep his way. And he will exalt. What does exalt mean? Hello, somebody. Raise you up. Raise you up. Let, let me go back to that again now. We already know it's all. It said now, what I'm going to do first time, I'm going to believe God for his word. And I, and I know that because I meditate on it and understand the word. I'm going to believe God for his word. He said now, hope in the Lord and keep his way. In the word, keep what God tells us to do. Now, I didn't know what he tells me to do, right? Keep his ways. And then when, he, when I do that, he said, he will exalt me. He will lift me up in due time because I kept his way, because I believe my God. And then he turns around and says, uh, and you will inherit the land. Oh, yeah, don't tell the president's election. They are right. But God's word is true. All right. We know we talked about it before. He said, not one jilt or one tilt of God's word is going to, until all of it be fulfilled. He mm -hmm. says, now, and then he goes on. He says, now, and the wicked, 
Oh, y'all. What's going to happen to the wicked? They're going to be cut off. All those wicked. And then, look how good God is there now. I go back to the NIV, it says. And when, and when the wicked are destroyed, who's going to see it? Uh -huh. Why worry about it? Why worry? They say, it, 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 it is word, right? Mine said that. First thing, first he said, go back, go back to it. First thing he said, hope in the Lord, keep his ways, and he will exalt you to inherit the land. We already talked about exalt, lift it up. Mm -hmm. Then he said, when the wicked, now, so if the word said, the wicked, what's going to happen to the wicked? They're going to be cut out. Mine said destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. And then when they destroy, he said, we're going to see it. That's all right. Y'all y'all look at it again when you you know. But what and I make another point out of that because what happened is God will when your enemies come upon you, God, when that when when the acts all happen, God will allow you to see them be repaid. And what I got to do, I got to keep in mind that I don't get to when I you know some I get to jump it up and down, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That I see now, I told you, I told you, dog. God said he'll love to see it. But the word also said, now if I get if I, if I get to acting like crazy, I guess I use my little mind. Crazy. God said he'll take it off of your enemy and put it on you. All right. Yeah, that's word. That's, and, and what happened is, but so what happened? God has promised us that he's going to take care of us. It's in his word. Yeah. And, and we look at that over and over again. Mm -hmm. Romans, Romans, uh, who got Romans? Nobody has it yet. I get that. Romans 5, no, Romans 8 and 25. And then I need somebody Galatians. I'm going I'm I'm to get ready to get up out of here. Galatians uh, 9 and 6. Y'all y'all, got to be working on here. Go, Romans 8 and 25. Galatians 6 and 9. 6 and 9. Because why y'all find it? I want, because what happened is... When we get up, so it, it takes some stuff now. It, it takes, you know, you just can't get up in the morning and, and, and think you're going to, all right, God, I believe you. It takes some getting into. Now, brother, brother Cole, you can't get up just one morning and say, I'm going to drive me a yellow cheese. <laughs> you can't do that. You, you got to go through some things. Before you go be and dry the cheese. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. You just can't get up. And what happened is, what, and I make the point. You had to go through some things. You got to learn God. Mm -hmm. We get on over there, Sister Gill now. Mm -hmm. You can't go down there to the and give people license. <laughs> until you know some things about license. Uh -huh. And what I'm saying, trying to get the point here, for no be able to fight this battle, we got to know about God. All right. We, 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 the Bible, this is, this is our training book to train how to fight the battle. Uh -huh. The words that put on the whole armor that you'll be able to stand, the wise of the devil. Now, and what Satan, what Satan don't want you to do, he don't want you to put on the armor. Because he wanna keep sticking you. And and you know what happens then? <clears throat> Sitting out stick this name we great. If you look at when 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 a, when a, me, when a mess come in the church, yeah, I, I can use mess, right? Mm -hmm. when, when the mess come over in the church, how everybody you see is talking about the mess. All right. Mm -hmm. Do, have you heard about mess over in this church? Uh -huh. Have you heard about what they did over yonder? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, uh, but but you did, but they don't say. Do you know Jesus coming back? All right. Yeah. Do you know Jesus could hey, take care of that? Mm -hmm. Do you know if those folks had to put Jesus first, right. they would have had that problem. All right. But 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 always and Satan knows that 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 Satan is a good advertiser for the mess. Mm -hmm. he, he don't you know he he, he, he likes to get the mess going. He likes to keep the mess out there because if he keep the mess out there, it makes God look bad. 
But listen to me. What, what, what did God tell Peter? Upon what your words? Yeah. I'm going to build my church. And in the gates of hell going to do it. They should not fail. And what we have to keep in mind, see, and it takes some time to figure this out. Because if I'm not in the word of God, I won't believe this. I got to stay in the word to be able to believe that God will take care of me. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's what gives us boldness because we're not bold because we, we, we're our own. We're bold because we're true to God. All right. That's what gives us a bold, you know. And anybody on any notes? Get somebody give me, just give me one of them. Who got, anybody got one of them? 825. 825. But if we hope for that we see not, then we then do we with patience wait for it. That's faith, right? Yes. Were we hoping for we don't see? Yeah, right. What's patience? Wait, 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 wait. What about hold on? Hold on. Can I hope that I got your patience to hold on? Amen. See now, if, 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 I, if I believe my God. And he tells me he's going to take care of me. What I need to do is I need to wait. Uh -huh. Isaiah said if I wait, I'll be with eagles, uh -huh. I'll be able to soar uh -huh. because I'm waiting. Uh -huh. because, but it takes a patience to wait on God. Uh -huh. because, because we, we look up through the word and, 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 it, and it takes some time. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, listen to you. Let me tell you about your enemies. They really, they're your elevators. You know why? Because they're enemies. Or put you on your knees. Mm -hmm. And when you get on your knees, God can elevate you. Yes, sir. Amen. Y'all didn't believe that. That's all right. Amen. But, but he will. You know why? Because what, what happened? God wants us humble. Uh -huh. And when we're humble, God can exalt us. Uh -huh. Yeah. He, uh, and, uh, he said, now, what comes up? Pride comes before the fall. Uh -huh. But humility, you know. And what God is saying now, if you get, take up my yoke. Learn of me. And when you learn of me, you're going to learn how to treat people. Amen. You're going to learn how to treat yourself. Mm -hmm. We say it all the time. Uh, love God all your heart, mind, and soul. Yeah. And your neighbor and yourself. Yeah. yeah. And when you love God, it ain't hard to love everybody when you love God. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I'm loving you because I love God. Amen. Not, not because of you. Mm -hmm. Because I love God. I love you. Yeah. And he says, that's first thing. Yeah. Anybody else on any of those? Y'all, look at me. Well, I got five minutes. Come on, yeah. Okay, wait. <laughs> well, I. Galatians. Galatians. Six and nine. Six and nine. And let us not be weary in, in well doing, for in due season. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay. Let us not. We, we figured out what weary means, right? Yes. Tired. Let me see. Well doing. Let me see if we can figure that one out. That means. I guess I use our table. That means, well done. And my, my sister, she's not here so I can use her. That means that I don't mind getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning, going to change her tire, or going to run an errand for her, because I'm well done. I'm not, I'm not getting weary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and taking the extra stuff that you do. But he said, don't be, you know, to, 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 to go and, and, and try to, to treat people right. And, 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 and you know, Y'all ain't never been there, but I've been there, something and not because they talk about me by play about this and that's all right. But how that that people will will misuse you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, and for no reason. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they they just they just you know, you know they, you know we call a punching bag. Hey, you think you're punching bag. They don't care. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I said like that. They you know somebody I guess they would so you guess say that they'd be fighting. And some you see somebody hit somebody, you say hit them again. Ain't hurt me. <laughs> right? Hit me. Ain't hurt me, hit him again. That's what they do, you know. <coughs> hit him again. But that has 
the same mindset. So, but, so, but don't don't be weary and well done. Mm -hmm. Because what happened is God has promised us reward. And what we have to realize, we have to get we have to keep who know where our reward comes from. All right. Our reward comes from God. Yeah, man, you know, man, man can, can give me a like I guess go back. I might let Brother Brown have a dime or two. <laughs> but I want my dime or two back. Okay. God lets us have heaven and earth. Uh -huh. And he don't worry about it. Because there's no way that we can repay God. Okay. And God has made it possible for us. Uh -huh. And what we have to do, we have to keep it. Well doing is keeping the word so people, so, you know, they're saying, Mother Long, I guess I his name. Some Bible. The only, your, our life, I better go to, our life is the bi only Bible some people read. Right. So in other words, how I walk right. and talk is their Bible. Mm -hmm. If I'm acting a fool all the time, right. then they think that's the way Christians act. All right. Let me tell you something about hypocrites too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this a minute. I'm going to take my hypocrites. Take my hypocrites. <laughs> when people say, you know, they said, well, I ain't going down there to check all them, all them hypocrites down there. Better come John. All right. Hypocrites got a chance going to heaven. <laughs> if you ain't in church, mm -hmm. you're on your way to hell. <laughs> so you say, yeah, I know there's a bunch of them down there. Yeah. <laughs> but all of them ain't. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You better come on down here, because if you don't, you're going to burn, burn, baby, burn. All right. <laughs> so, bye-bye. I better get out of here. Finish, finish that. Let me quit. Let me quit. <laughs> and let us not be weary in, in well doing for in due season. In due season. In due season. You know, when God gets ready, all right. He's going to reward us. All right. But don't, don't you worry about all the, all the pain and heartache you're going through. I, I know it sometimes they get. But in due season, yes. God's going to reward us. Uh -huh. do, do, do you know not? Because he, He's got it. He said, a cow on a thousand hills of mine. Yes, sir. And the hills he belong to me. Mm -hmm. And what I what we had to do is we had to keep learning of God and how he handles things. Because he handles things different the way man handles things. Yes, sir. I want to get up and I want to buy every day. But God said, you hold on. You wait on me. Yes, you, 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 you take my guidance. You look the way I tell you to go. I keep telling them, telling them that I want some, I want some spiritual eyes. Wait a mm -hmm. I want some spiritualized thought. What spiritualized do you? Spiritualized will show you things years down the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spiritualized, you can only see the back of that door if you got good eyesight. But I got spiritualized, I can see things. And, 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 and that, that's just not for me. We all ought to be asked for spiritual eyes. All right. mm -hmm. well, another thing, spirit, spiritual eyes will keep you out of trouble too. Uh -huh. Spiritualized. Right. Yeah, spiritual eyes will show you what, what, what's going on when, when, you, when you think you need to be doing other stuff. Right. Spiritual eyes. Oh, you activate yes. your power. Yeah, right. yeah you can, don't, don't believe. Ain't no kryptonite in God's hand. Yeah, it, it, it's all his power. All right. and, and when we learn how to put on his power, all right. yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to get you to learn how, how to put on his power because, because we're in a war. All right. yeah, it's a fight. Uh -huh. Every day it's a fight. Yeah. And when we learn how to fight God's way, yeah, it, it's going to work out. Yes, no matter what else is going on in life, it's going to work out when we fight God's way. Yes, sir. Yeah, he, he, he has a fight for it. All right. Oh, yeah. Ask the Egyptian. All right. He don't fight for it. Yeah, t tell him that, that, tell him that they, the Israelites went out on water. I'm going to get out on water, dry water. Come out, come out of land, dry water, dry. Uh -huh. And tell the Israelites that they're going over. Uh -huh. God don't fight for it. You tell the boys to put the Hebrew boys right. in the furnace fire. All right. They burn up, uh -huh. and the Hebrew boys, all right. Uh -huh. Tell the boys to put Daniel in the, in the lounge then. Yeah. That right. God don't fight for it. Yeah. Tell, tell, tell Joe, the brother, the one that sold him into slavery. Yeah. God don't fight for it. Yeah. And what we got to do, we got to learn how, how God fight. Uh -huh. God fight when his chair is on the knee. That's what he fight. He doesn't fight when I'm trying to be all bold and no, outrageous. But when I'm on my knees, God fight. Oh yeah, but God fight when I'm asleep. Right. Yeah, God fight when I'm at work. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I want God mm -hmm. to fight my battle. Yeah. I don't you know why? Because he's a winning God. Yeah. Right. He never lost a patient. Right. Never lost a battle. Yeah. Right. Tell you one more thing, I'll wait to proceed. And he's not. Yeah, he's not. 
I don't care what goes on in the White House. God got a house. Yes, he does. And that's why I'm going to spend my day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. I got you. All the God's children got you. I got a robe. All the God's children got a robe. I got a crown. All the God's children got a crown. I don't know about you, but I'm going to enjoy my crown. And I'm not going to wait to be in this old place. I'm going to start right now and enjoy my God. Because he know what? He's a God. Oh, yeah. He's a good God. Matter of fact, he's good than good. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad. Yes, sir. But I got a good guy. Yes, sir. I'm glad. Yes, sir. I quit. Yes, sir.